Before we start the video, I want to say make sure you guys check the description box and subscribe to Taylor's channel. And also make sure you guys check out the video we did together on her channel. It was so, so fun. I did her makeup and we answered some questions. So make sure you guys watch this one and hers as well. Enjoy! <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, me and Taylor... We're going to be doing a mukbang and we're going to do a girl talk slash mukbang. I asked you guys on Instagram to give us some girl talk questions. You guys got really TMI. So I'm, this might be like a TMI girl. I don't know. It's going to be good though. So we got some food from, what is this called? Let me see. It's right here. It's yeah, just wings. It's yeah. just wings. We both have never had this before. But you can tell them what you got first. I got buffalo wings and crumb fries. And then I got lemon pepper wings and curly. <laughs> I got lemon pepper wings and curly fries. And then Taylor over here then got extra curly fries somehow. I don't know. So yeah, we're going to get right into it. I have the questions on my phone. Someone said underneath our girl talk questions thingy, what do you look for in guys? You can go first. I look for guys, someone who has stuff going for themselves. If you have nothing going for yourself, I'm not going to talk to you because I have stuff going for myself. Why would I want to talk to someone who don't have nothing going for themselves? So if you have stuff going for yourself and keep up with yourself, like clean nails, haircut, stuff like that, then, you know, we could kick it. But otherwise, hmm, mm -mm. Okay. So that's it, just someone who knows what they want and has a path. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Um, y'all, yeah, I really don't know. I don't look for it. I don't even look anymore. I'm I'm turned turned away. <laughs> I'm turned away. We look left. We, <laughs> we look, look left. away. Mm -mm. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why they'd ask us this question, but they said, what age do you think girls should start getting into relationships? Well, I got my first relationship, but I wouldn't say it was a relationship because I was in eighth grade, but it was kind of a relationship and that was my first relationship, so. Okay, so are you classifying it as like meeting your mom and all that stuff? Okay, then no. My first relationship this year was this year. Okay. Well, yeah. Yeah, that's year. what I think we should make it as. So yours so, was this year? Yeah. So you think that's a good age? 15 is a good age. Uh -huh. I think, yeah, I think 15 as well. My first relationship, like as far as meeting mom, coming over, all that stuff like that, was when I was um, 15. Well, actually, I was 14 when you we started 15. dating. Yeah. That's our 15. And it was the longest one, so. Yeah, months is the longest one. I count that as like the first one. I think 15 is a good age, though. Yeah. What should you do when you think your boyfriend is losing feelings? Leave him. <laughs> yes, please do. <laughs> because. Okay, wait. If you want to be with him, then talk to him. Otherwise, if you don't want to, then bye to him. I think you should still talk regardless. Mm -hmm. But leave. Because nine times out of ten, they found Each someone else. <laughs> yes, that's literally what it is. When they start acting different, that's your sign to go. I'm telling you, when they stop acting like they don't care, when they stop FaceTiming you, when go they, morning text. when they stop, when they go to sleep and not say anything to you, like, and it's like constantly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're talking to someone else. They're on the phone with someone else every night. And don't let them say, oh, I'm just tired, blah, 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 blah. blah. <laughs> My thoughts on teen pregnancy is don't get pregnant if you can't afford a life for yourself and that baby. Okay, deep. <laughs> Cause um, your parents should not be taking care of something that's yours. It's nothing wrong with it if you want to like uphold your responsibilities for it, but I mean it is something wrong with it because you're still in high school. Right, like let's not normalize it, but also let's not judge people for yeah. it. Yeah. Um. Yeah, if it happens, it happens. Just, just make sure you're ready for it. So make sure you use protection, cause what? Mm -hmm. I could have sworn we like this help. <laughs> you don't have a steady income. Or something mm -hmm. like that. Like it's just that's not a good idea. Shouldn't be out here doing it anyway. You know, mm -hmm. just can't. <laughs> Even. Y'all, 
y'all. We haven't eaten all day, so if we like <laughs> messing this food <laughs> up. <laughs> How to keep yourself happy. Now, I don't know if it's just me, but getting cute, doing my makeup, taking pictures, doing my hair, all that good stuff. It is makes like, me happy. It's like therapy. <laughs> to me almost like it literally helps so much like if I'm in a sad mood let's get up and take pictures let's get up even if I don't take pictures like let's just get up and do your hair or something like that right. I don't know it really helps it really keeps you happy like especially if you go from talking to someone All on an everyday day. basis or something like that and like it just like it, that's not a thing anymore then that's one good thing to do M music find a hobby something that like, you like I know when I, I know when I'm like sad or bored I clean my room <laughs> You know, I can clean my room. I'm like, hmm, clean my room and I just randomly organize stuff. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I never did this before. Like, I don't know. Yeah, that's a good one. That's one yeah. that I didn't really think of or knew to do. Mm. But don't yeah. be sad up in your feelings in your bed. Get up, do something fun, and go with some friends. You know? Yeah, just be active. Last thing you is to be alone in your room. All right. Do you think situationships are fun feelings or terrible ideas? Fun feelings. <laughs> <laughs> They're fun feelings. If you're bored, why not? For real though, like, shoot, you're gonna look back at it and be like, dang, I had a fun time with you. So that situationship might be your person, for real. Mm -hmm. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Most of the time, your situationships are really for you, just not, they're not just for you right now. Like, you I didn't have so many, I didn't have so many people that always say that, and I just feel like that is so true. Like, sometimes your person really be your situation, so like y'all bond so well, and then y'all stop talking, and then y'all might start talking again. It's just crazy. It's weird. Yeah, but I think they're fun. You don't, you don't have, have to be in a relationship. I was just you don't, gonna say, to, you don't have to take it too serious. Or nothing. You don't have to worry about nothing. Nothing. How often should girls get pedicures? Every time you get your nails done. But what if they don't get their nails done? Cause I don't get my nails done for me. Then every two weeks, well, yeah. Every two, three weeks, whenever you need one. Yeah. But if you get gel, you probably can go three weeks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but regular and polish, you can't. Maybe three weeks. I get regular polish because they said that gel is unhealthy. Yeah, I heard that too. But so I started getting regular. <laughs> but <laughs> how to get over someone? <laughs> Why, why are you not getting get nothing to drink? Oh my gosh, we did it. You want me to go get them? Yeah. Okay, you can answer how to get over someone. Okay. I feel so. I don't know, y'all. I don't know how to explain to y'all how to get over someone because I get over people fast. Like, I'm a very, very natural person and I feel so. I can have whoever I want to have. If I want you, then I can get you. So, if I break up with somebody. It's like I don't care because there's plenty more people like you out here. So it's just, that's just the mindset you gotta have. But at the same time, that's just me, and I just feel so like, hey, I told them that um, it's easy for me to get over people because I really don't care. Oh my gosh, that's not that's not advice. <clears throat> you have to think. I feel I like perspective of someone okay. that's here. If you've been with them for a long time, then cry it out. But if it's been like. Two months, girl. <laughs> get on my face with that. Uh, honestly, like we said, situationships are good. Feelings. Oh, if you want to get over them, talk to somebody else. <laughs> no, for real. Cause that's what I do. Like, for real. It's not the best it's advice. Not. No, but honestly, getting over someone, focus on yourself. Like, yeah. To, like being very honest, you need to focus on yourself. Cause if it's real, it's gonna come back. If it ain't, it ain't gonna come back. But obviously. No, I'm sorry if y'all can see my rolls. <laughs> As the video go, goes on, I can't I can't sit up anymore. I'm sorry. But yeah, I can't I couldn't crush cross that episode. Let's have to turn my legs to the side. Let's have to a party. There was something happened when after homecoming, but that's too late. Like that's too late. Mm. I've only been to one party. Really? Ever. Your whole oh my god. I have a party. Bruh, I don't go to parties out here. They don't know these people. Yeah. They're trying to get killed or yeah. something. I definitely understand what they're crazy. Uh huh. How to deal with fake friends? Cut them off. Just cut 
Call them all. I haven't had a fake friend in a minute, y'all. That's so like elementary, middle school. Mm -hmm. I haven't had a fake friend in a minute either. Like, at this point, if you don't know. Yeah, like I haven't caught none of my friends. Not. I haven't caught none of my friends talking about me or nothing. Like, mm -hmm. right, I don't know. The people y'all see me hanging with, they're they're real. Like, I have no, I don't have any doubts about them. So, I haven't had that problem in a long time. Cut them off. For real. Confront life. them. Have a talk with them. How often do you do self maintenance? I guess that means okay. like hair and stuff. Okay, for my hair, it depends. It may be every two weeks or every month because if you, if you're a person like me, you get tired of hairstyles fast, like really, really fast. But I'm learning to keep my hairstyles in a little longer because I don't have a, like a consistent hairstylist down here yet. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I'm learning to maintain it. Or I'll take it out in two weeks and my mom does my hair, so. And then for nails, I don't have nails on right now because I'm cheer, so usually it'll be every two weeks. Every two weeks. And then I used to get facials every Friday, but I don't do that anymore because I'm too busy for at school. But me and my car is gonna do that one day. Yeah, I'm gonna vlog it too, y'all. So my little self-care girls today. Period. Mm-hmm. Now that I do my own hair. <laughs> Half the time, I do not really go to stylist here. I have not. I, don't think, I haven't been to a stylist since I moved here. Um, so I do my own hair. I do my own hair every day. If I'm changing styles, probably like once a week. Honestly, you guys know how I how I do what I do. Um, I don't really get my nails done anymore. I wear press-ons, and when I wear press-ons, I could probably wear them for like a week, and then I change them. Or whatever the case may be. If I have, if I do have one acrylics, then probably like two weeks, and then I'm taking them off. I can't, I can't. Just the look of knowing that I need a fill in and I can't go because I'm busy or something. I can't deal with it, so I just take them off myself. I don't be taking mine off because you don't. No, this look. But um, yeah, just like every two weeks for everything. Like just you know, keep up. <laughs> oh oh, I have a tracker. I'm gonna show you. How I have a habit tracker. Okay, this is it. It's called habit and I have like all the stuff I need to do every day or every hour. And I got yoga, learning, mind clearing, drinking water, eating fruit, sleep early, eat breakfast, save money, and clean my room. And as you see, I only did Monday and Tuesday. So that tells you a lot about me. So how do you feel about popping out? Uh, Zero out of 10 do not recommend. Cause bruh, that's the, once you pop out, that's the ex everybody want to keep bringing up. That's the ex everybody want to stick you to like, and they be like, oh, how is blah, blah, where are you Are you blah, still blah, blah. with blah, blah, blah? Like, yeah. my the mom. stuff is gone. Do y'all think once a cheater, always a cheater? Yes. Yep. Cause once you cheat, I'm, I promise you I'm going to keep bringing it up. <laughs> once I'm at, yeah, remember you, oh. yeah, uh, don't play with me. <laughs> And I feel as though if you cheat on me, I'm sorry, but I'm going to cheat on you back because I'm that petty, like. You're one of those. I'm so petty, like, do not play with what? me. First of all, once you cheat on me, we're not going to be together, and I will never. No, I, I, feel like, like, I feel like I have to because, like, I have to, you know, like, I just can't. Like, <laughs> you don't believe in give back? Like, I don't believe in that, y'all. I don't really? believe in that. I don't no, believe in it. My God. I feel like I just, I just can't do it, like. I just, that's just not me. I just feel like I just have to go and I will never, you will never hear from me ever again. How do you live life free without having fears? I feel like you should just not care about anything. Mm -hmm. I'm so serious. Like I have became so, I don't care. Like it's not even funny. I feel like at the end of the day, I thought I was gonna show you it. <laughs> he deleted it off his when he, he reposted it and then he deleted it. I was later, so I deleted mine. He was like, I said, why are you deleting? He was like, oh, cause we got an argument. No, nah, you think you slick. Niggas. What was I saying? Oh yeah. How do you live life carefree? Okay, so what was I saying? I said I oh yeah, I so <laughs> what? Oh, yes, what? So you, what? <laughs> like I was saying, I just have became so like I don't care because at the end of the day we're all gonna die. Period. I don't think you guys understand how much I look forward to the weekends because during the week it's just nonstop just uh so like I really like take pride in my weekends, whether it's hanging out with my friends, recording, 
taking Sweet pictures. Baby. Like, yeah, anything of the store because that's the kind of stuff that I feel like I should, you know, take in in life. Yeah. Just stuff that is genuinely fun. Okay, so someone asked, how do you, how can I stop my shyness? I think it's just, it's a universal thing. I guess I'll say that I was definitely more shy a few years ago than I am now. Like when it comes to like being able to just talk to people or if it's someone that I'm meeting for the first time, I'm a bit more like just like out there than I would be a few years ago. And I feel like it just comes from confidence and just growing up. Like, yeah. And I was like very shy and y'all, I used to dance model in front of hundreds of people. Still shy. Still shy. <laughs> I cheer right now, still shine. Yeah. Like, I close my eyes when I cheer. <laughs> you close your eyes when you cheer. I close my eyes, but it was clearly like, <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, we were just talking about this. Do you ever have people who want to be your friends just because you're well known? Yeah. That's why I, that's why I don't like Instagram friends that much because y'all just want to be my friend. Look at the on Instagram. Yeah. <laughs> Because some people genuinely want to mm -hmm. be a friend. Yeah. But sometimes I say yes because I want to see their intentions. And if they, if they ask, but if they be like, oh, you got so many followers. Or if they say anything about followers the first time I already know, like, you just want to be friends because of followers. I think that's why I don't really try to make school friends because I feel like this is not genuine. It's really not. Half of the time it's not. They just know who you are. Because a lot that's of people why do I know so who you are at school. And they just they just want to talk to you because they know who you are. You know what I'm saying? And it's just kind of like it's it's not fun at all. And if you ever just had that that feeling like, dang, my friends really don't like me. What? You never get like really anxious and like, what if they really don't like me? Mm -mm. I be having that feeling like, she. I know my friends now. Like you talking about like your Instagram friends or like your school friends? School friends. Yeah, see, I don't know. I don't know how you do it. You have a lot of school friends. What's your favorite go-to style? Like clothing? chill. I answered this the other day on my. They asked me this, and I was like, it's chill. Like chill, but like give a just like an example of an sweatpants and crop top, or sweatpants and long sleeve shirt, or sweatpants and anything. To be honest, I promise you, I will go for sweatpants first. What I have on right now is like my go-to, but if um, but I also I will say I I genuinely love dressing up and playing on heels. Like, it's fun to me. I love heels. So like heels and some jeans and a top or something like that. I really enjoy it. So it just, it just depends on what mood I go to, but go to something like this. Like or like, today. if I'm going, like if I go to school, my go to is definitely like sweatpants and a jacket, sweatpants and a tight fitting top or something like that. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Today I wore heels because I was feeling like a baddie. Yeah, so. it just, but I also brought sneakers because I made her feel like a little tall. Yeah, y'all, she today. literally had a change. Like, she was like, hmm. <laughs> I was like, which one? <laughs> because uh, I just be going through, like, maybe, hmm. What's your favorite hairstyle? It's not a, really a girl talk, but what is it? This side part with a big swoop, which I don't have today. My favorite hairstyle? <laughs> I have a lot. <laughs> My favorite hairstyle on her is her curls. Really? Yeah. Like anything with curls? Okay, I like that too, but I don't think it's my favorite hairstyle. My favorite hairstyle is probably my clip-ins now, the straight ones. Whether it's a side par or half a pack down or a ponytail, I don't know. It's just like, it's a vibe. She wants me to try straight side par. Yeah, I think she should try straight side par. How has she not tried that? And she wears a side part all the time, <laughs> like just straighten it. I'm serious, you have to send a picture. I think we're doing it on Thursday. What's Thursday? Nothing but the games on Friday and my curls never last for the games. Okay, that could work. How to keep up with your cycle? I have an app. Do you have an app? No, I already know it's gonna come the first two weeks, either <laughs> the first week or the second week of the month. And then sometimes it might come at the end, and I'll be like, Whoa. Yeah, that's why you should get an app. I I have an sometimes app. Sometimes I feel like it'll be breaking. That's why I'm like, Mine works really well. I've been using it for three years. Really? Yes. <laughs> I had one, but it wasn't like. And I don't have my notifications on, so I definitely would never know. Yeah, mine pops up, but it'll, it'll be like, um, don't forget to log when your period starts or something like that. But I have the Flow app. I'm sure we all know what the Flow app is. Yeah. And basically, um, every month you just make sure you go in there and log when it starts. And then it'll just basically like calculate when your next one comes. And it's always pretty accurate. Yeah. Um, 
So yeah, I think that's one way that I keep, that's like the easiest way to keep up with it, honestly. But also I know some people do like, they get the same exact symptoms a few days before it's about to start each time and they don't really need an app. But if you don't, then I think an app is the best way. Yeah. Or just, and even then, like those few days where it's about to come up, go ahead and make sure you start packing pads or whatever you need in your purse and things like that when you're going to school. But I feel like a girl you should already have them in your backpack so just in case mm -hmm. yeah I just put them in the, I have like a, a clear thing that has pads uh, mouthwash my little toothbrush mm -hmm. stuff that I need for braces body um body spray that's like why that. you need to have like a little self-care bag yeah. that you take or get a calendar yeah or get a calendar something that you can just look at in your room every day mm -hmm. do you think it's okay for your friend to go with your ex <laughs> no it's not okay for your friend to go with your ex. It's not. It's not okay for your ex you to, to go for your friend. It's you not okay for your... you to talk to your ex person. I don't even care if they were just talking. I don't care if they talked. They dated for two weeks. It's like not, not okay. okay. It's not zero percent okay. It's weird. No seriously. Definitely, if it's an ex and you knew how I felt about him, right? Weird. If I talk to you like all the time and you just like no, that's that's some crazy stuff. That's I why hope, I feel like you can't really tell your friends. Too. I hope I never have to do it. Like, but I feel you gotta watch certain friends. Like, no, that's if you have to watch your friends, they don't you need to be your friends. Be your that's friends. what I just want to say. I feel like I have a secure relationship with my friends that yeah. never do no crazy things like that. And if you like, and me and have friends, second, we don't have the same taste. Yeah, right. <laughs> we don't have the same that taste at all. Not at all. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> if y'all real friends, y'all would never beef over a boy or stop being cool over a boy. That means y'all was never real friends. I feel like a boy. If they never talk to my ex, they gotta go. I don't care. I feel like y'all should never. I'm talking about the other person. Cause why? You know that's gonna happen if like they talk to. If you talk to them, you know that's gonna happen. Like you know the girl's not gonna continue being friends with yeah. you. Like okay. And girls be riding dies over their boyfriends. Or whatever it is, <laughs> over there niggas, they be ride and die. So y'all better watch out and don't talk to other people's boyfriends. It's weird. That's weird as heck. Okay, um, now we just put it on lip gloss during the video. Oh. <laughs> I'm big chilling right now. If you can say something right now to the person you're going to be in five years, what would you say? I would say that get money. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. No, for real though, like, get money. <laughs> Five Don't years old, we're gonna be 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. We're only 21. Live, Don't have be fun. Don't be broke. Have fun. Go to as many parties you want while you're Party, young. travel, travel, travel. More Period. traveling. Travel, travel again. Travel, travel. <laughs> Go to all across the world by the time you're 25. Make sure you're handling your business, girl. Period. We can't be broke. Yeah, no, no broke. broke. No broke. <laughs> we need the money. Me no broke. <laughs> we like expensive stuff. Literally, we are we like expensive stuff. We can't be broke. Us looking back at this in five years. <laughs> On a vacation. We're manifesting it. <laughs> oh god. How can you tell if a boy likes you back? Um boys be lying half the time, you never know. <laughs> half the time it's an act. No cap though, but if they like you then you'll get the good morning. And it'll be consistent, like they won't stop. Like if they like you, everything's gonna be consistent. If they're not consistent, cut it, cut it, cut it. Cut it. <laughs> they will still do that and still not like you. But no, they never do it. If they're, not, if they're not gonna be consistent, True. they don't wanna. Okay, okay. So you think good morning text, good morning, good night text? Yeah, consistently. Cause you know some boys do it for a couple of days and stop. Yeah. Or they be like, I'm not finna keep texting text you text first. Right now. They'd be like, I'm not gonna keep texting you first. And you'd be like, Yeah, if they start if that, they that, if they start that, cut uh, 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 <laughs> it should not matter. To be very honest, if you ever wake up first, go ahead and send it. <laughs> so I have the answer. How can you tell if a boy likes you back? <laughs> nothing. Nothing's ringing a bell. <laughs> Combination like what do you use in the shower every day? Okay, I use I use um I forgot what it's called, but it's like 
it's gray. It's a gray soap and it's like a cleanser. I don't know. It's like a can't remember the brand. You know the stuff that make your teeth white? Yeah. It's like that, but in a body wash. Okay. So it's that, and then I use a smell good one. And then after I get out the shower, I use this um, vanilla bean soap, I mean lotion. And I use that, and then I put Vaseline on my knees, and my elbows, and my face, and my neck, and then I put the um, vanilla bean stuff on my neck, and then I spray something. Don't ask me why I spray perfume when I go to sleep, because I just do, I like smelling good. And then after that, I lay in the bed. And you do that every day? Mm -hmm. Well, you guys, for a more simpler way. <laughs> in the shower, I use Cool Old Dove. Instant foaming, already foaming, whatever the heck it's called, already foaming body wash. I exfoliate maybe three times a week. And that's like, I would say max, but you can maybe do four, but like three times a week. I do mine every Sunday. You? Every Sunday? Mm hmm Okay. Yeah, um, I exfoliate with the Tree Hut, but I also, I did try this Dove one. I have the Dove cool. one. You have the Dove one? Yeah, it's, like it's pink, vanilla the bean. Pink I have the vanilla bean one. Okay. I, I have everything the, vanilla bean. <laughs> I'm obsessed. I don't really, I just, I don't know. I don't, I'm not really a scenty person. I don't mm -hmm. really like scents on my body that much. I don't know because I have sensitive skin and I also have psoriasis. But yeah. So exfoliate, <laughs> body wash, exfoliate. And, off the sh and when I get out of the shower, I just started using that, um, I think it's Cetaphil. Is that Cetaphil? In the green? Yeah, in the yeah. green. Yeah, it's a Cetaphil lotion. I don't really like it because it's not too thick or it's not too thin. I hate a thick lotion. lotion. That irritates me so much. But it's, it's not so too... White. Yeah, that's so nasty and it makes you feel all wet sticky. and sticky while you get in the bed. I don't like that. What kind of parents do we think would you be? I think I would be a cool lip mom. Like, I would let my kids do whatever they want to an extent, but, like, y'all can do what y'all want, but don't play with me. Don't do something I didn't do. <laughs> like, you know how your parents be like, don't do stuff, but why are you being a hypocrite? Because you did it. Right. I think I'd be a pretty cool mom, too, because I would be a very, like, a mom. I just want to be a mom that you can feel like you can go yeah, to. Yeah, like a safe mom. Like, yes, yeah, like a mom. Like, no, no, no. Yes, yeah, no. a mom that you can vent to. A mom that you can literally tell everything Thank to. You. And not feel like they're judging you. Like, I just want to be a very understanding mom. Yeah. A fun mom, let you have fun, all that good stuff. Your best friend. Yeah. Like, Cause I hate when moms are like, I'm not one of your little friends. Then why you act like one of my little friends? I literally <laughs> don't like parents that just parent all the time. Yeah, like, dang. Give your literally. kid a break. Right, you wonder right. why they being so sneaky. Like, exactly. Like, and when they try to talk to you, don't try to belittle their friends and teacher and i want to be the parent that can teach my child how to be a good person a right. good friend like all of that in one so for real and still know how to maintain everything going in your right. life don't let people run on top of you like i just want to teach my kids the reality and not try to sugarcoat things because we all do things like this yeah, yeah. this is another good one okay this is gonna be the last one for real right. have you ever wanted to change yourself to fit in into society's standards i think this is a great one to talk about with today's peoples i feel like in today's time, everyone is so influenced by social media that we forget that it's all fake. Yeah. And it's like y'all be wanting to be like, boys be wanting girls to look like Jada Wada the whole time. Exactly. We're 15. We have normalized everyone trying to rush into things. You've seen so many 18 and moved into my own apartment, 19 got my own car, guys. Yeah, it's very much possible, but we need to understand that that's not the reality of everything. It's okay to still live with your mom when you're yes. 18. Please understand that. Because best believe, I would be still living with my mom until I have enough money for exactly not two everyone, houses. Like Exactly. Not everyone is able to take the route of social media. And I feel like everyone shouldn't try to force themselves to take the route of social media right. because that's what they're seeing everyone doing. And it doesn't work out for everyone. I could be on social media with fucking $500,000. Did you pay your rent? Literally. Like, you know you right. did. I don't know you did. I just feel like, just, just relax. Like, just be yourself. Yeah. <laughs> like, just be in reality. Because move at the media. pace that you want to Yes, move, move in the right don't pace. Don't follow everybody. Just because you're not where someone else is at, and maybe y'all started at the same time, whatever the case may be, I still feel like, just move at your own pace. Your time will come. It all takes time for everyone. It's different for, for everyone. 
It just that. please don't get wrapped up in social don't, media. Don't be a hater because if you hate on somebody, then your time won't come. But they asked, do we ever want to change ourselves? No. <laughs> I feel like no. Ever that can be it can be inspiration definitely, yeah. but never want to change yourself. Maybe change my style here and there because yeah. I change my style a lot. But yeah. like, never like anything on my body physically. Yeah. Really that bad. Definitely take it as inspiration or like, um, it can like help you like figure out what maybe route you want to take or where you should go to become successful in a way. So, yeah, I think that's a good closing out question. Yeah. So, <laughs> that is basically it for this video. I hope it was fun. I hope, I don't know if we really gave any advice, but I hope you guys like understand <laughs> where we're coming from with these questions. And y'all take we were, our advice on some of the videos that y'all understood. Yeah. Okay, some of the questions, questions that y'all understood. <laughs> I said <Yeah>. videos. <laughs> and we were for real spitting in this video, very blunt with it because like, that's what y'all wanted. Yeah, I feel like we did a good answering them. Yeah, for the most part. Subscribe to my channel for more. Subscribe to Taylor. I will make sure I put her channel in the description box. I don't know if we're gonna upload these at the same time, but I will put your channel in the description box. And um, yeah, like this video, give it a thumbs up. Comment below if you guys wanna see more videos of us. I didn't even realize we like stopped eating like so long ago. <laughs> This is like mukbang in the first half, second half, just talking. But yeah. I hope you guys still enjoy. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Follow me on Instagram and follow my spam. <laughs> Since it's public now, follow my spam. You want to tell me to follow your spam? Oh yeah, follow um, my main anime. The Taylor London. And follow my TikTok at The Taylor London. I'll put that in the description box too, yeah. But yeah, love you guys. Um, catch you in my next video.